Nanigi is a small location in Bura constituency, Tana River County, with a population of approximately 8,000 people. Here, residents say accessibility to water was a tedious process often involved with many risks. However, that is no longer the case after the completion of Nanigi Water and Sanitation Project in 2021 that was funded by Water Sector Trust Fund with financial support from the Danish International Development Agency, Danida, under the Green Growth and Employment Program. Kabla muradi wa maji, nilikuwa tunateka kanasi. Laki saizi, tunashukuru bao liku hapa karibu, tunashota, tunaoga, tunakuwa nayo, tunafanya kazi ngini. Kwa hivyo, saizi tunashukuru. Ugumu wa uteka maji kanani ni ugumu mwingi. Manake unakanya gapa mpaka uko unarudi hapa karibu na sama tatu. Laki saizi, the project that was implemented by Tana Water and Sanitation Company is managed by Nanigi Water and Sanitation CBO and serves about 1,000 consumers daily. Kwa hii kioski yangu ambaye na hudumia ni jiriki ni miyamoja kwa siku ambaye watu wanachota hapa. Pale malipo Sisi kama kikundi tuliamua kwamba kila mwanachama yoyote yule ambaye anatumia haya maji tutakuwa tunalipa shilingi 200 kwa mwezi. Kama mtu anakuja kununua maji direct, unalipa shilingi 5 kwa mtungi. Pesa zile kidogo ambazo tunazozipata ndio zile pesa zinatusaidia wakati kama kuna pipe imeharibika nini kusaidia ku maintain nayo ile hali. Learning institutions in the area have also benefited from the project. Nanigi Primary School, for instance, not only got connected to the water, but also received four ventilated improved pit latrines, hand washing facilities, and a 10,000 litre water tank. As Omar Balesa, the head teacher, says, this has reduced absenteeism of learners in the school by a great deal. Previously, girls uh, who were at a puberty age they used to be absent when they are experiencing the monthly period. But after the coming of the project, learners are there and they are present just because they know for sure that there is enough water to clean themselves. The area chief, Mohamed Hiribai II, is full of praise for the project as he attributes it to improved security in the location. Zaman kulikuwa na shallow el moja lichimbo na NGOs. Sasa hiyo peke yake ndi ilikuwa ni tegemeo. Alafu idadi ya watu ambao wana kusanyika pale kuchota maji ni wengi na ni jamii tofauti tofauti. Communities tofauti tofauti. So katika hile yali ya kusukumana mara nyingi tumeweza kushuhudia kwamba vita vinaanza kutokezea huko. Vina grow paka vinafika kiwango ya community against another community. Lakini sahi kwa sabobe hii maji at least kila jamii imeweza kufanikiwa kupata kioski. Kila mtu anachota kivi yake. Vile vile, ime reduce riski za watu kutembea hiyo msitu wote, kutafuta maji kwa sababu msitu uko na wanyama. Mtu anaenda kutafuta maji, pengine katika heli ahali ya kupita kati kati ya msitu, anakutana na mnyama, inakuwa ni mambo ingine, anavamiwa na mnyama. Lakini kwa sababu maji ya kufika nani ya kijiji, sasa hizo tumeza kuepukana na hizo riski. Na zile conflicts za watu kuzozania maji pia zimeisha. The project whose cost was about 18 million Kenya shillings had the following main components. Tumechimba kisima ambao depth yake ni 30 meters. Ambao inatoa 10,000 liters per hour. Tukaweka gantry ya 4 inch. Tukatengeza pump house ya 5 meters by 4 meters. Tukaweka solar panels za 270 watts, 20 moja, ambo inatoa almost 4 kilowatt. Tukatengeza pipeline, 5.8 kilometer. Tukatengeza steel elevated tank, 50 meter cubed, ambo it's equivalent to 50,000 uh, liters. Ambo nikona tower ya 12 meters. Water is an essential commodity for all humans and the residents of Nanigi, like every other people, were deserving clean, affordable water for their daily use.
they are grateful that the trouble they used to go through to fetch water is now a thing of the past. Ni kutoa shukurani kwa niaba ya community kwa shirika kuweza kufikiria mahali ya kutuletea maji ambacho ni jambo muhimu sana kwa binadamu.